So the primary aim of our study was to compare the risk of encephalopathy associated with bacopen against two other commonly prescribed oral muscle relaxants, tizanidine and cyclobenzaprine. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Joseph Huang. I'm an uh, internist and assistant professor of medicine at Johns Hopkins University. It is my pleasure uh, to talk about our article titled Baclofen and the Risk of Encephalopathy, a Real-World Active Comparator Cohort Study, featured at uh, Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our cohort study comprised of adults who were newly treated with baclofen, tizanidine, or cyclobenzaprine in routine care settings. The drug of our interest was oral baclofen. Uh, it is a muscle relaxant with GABA agonist property. Uh, oral muscle relaxants are a class of drugs that are commonly prescribed among adults in the United States. Despite being approved for spasms and pain associated with chronic neurologic conditions such as multiple sclerosis or spinal cord diseases, baclofen has been off of used off-label basis for common musculoskeletal conditions such as non-specific back pain. With the drug's adverse sedative effects, the rise in the oral muscle relaxant prescriptions in the United States has motivated us to assess their safety with respect to the risk of encephalopathy. After controlling for potential confounders using propensity score-based methods, we found that baclofen was associated with a greater risk of encephalopathy after 30 days of treatment compared to tizanidine or cyclobenzaprine. And the uh, increased risk associated with baclofen persisted throughout the first year of treatment. To our knowledge, this was the first real-world study to compare the risk of encephalopathy associated with baclofen against the other two commonly prescribed muscle relaxants in routine care settings. Clinical encounters with oral muscle relaxants prescriptions are on the rise in the United States and more research is needed to assess their safety in our patients. I think that our finding of the increased risk of encephalopathy associated with baclofen compared to thiazine or cyclobenzaprine has the potential to inform prescribing practice and share treatment decisions between patients and prescribers. I invite you to read our article at Mayo Clinic Proceedings on this important topic. Thank you for listening. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.